Does a funny thing happen to your shot on the way to the basket? Well, maybe it's time you forget about your shooting form for a while and look in a new direction. Let's solve that inconsistent shot of yours by getting to the real source of your shooting problem for a solution, your head. You're about to discover the ultimate shooting method, a dynamic shooting breakthrough that can immediately put your jump shot, bank shot, and free throw into a winning groove shot after shot, game after game. We're also going to introduce you to a success mechanism inside your head that can help you get that shooting success you deserve. Hi, my name is Stan Kellner and for the past 20 years I've been helping athletes find a winning difference with an innovative mental training program called Basketball Cybernetics. And now because of a recently refined shooting technique called Sight Feel, it's your turn to free up the prime time shooter you know you can be. You'll find out how easy and how much fun it can be to achieve the eye, touch, stroke, and confidence of the great shooter. That is, as soon as you master the secret of the shooter's mind game. And you'll also have the proof that our shooting method really works. We'll first test the accuracy of your jump shot with a shooting game called Personal Best. And then after you learn our ultimate shooting method, let's retest your shot to check its progress. Now let's go to the floor and demonstrate our personal best game. I want you to go out for five or ten minutes and see how many shots you can make in a row. Now here's how you're going to do it. You're going to toss the ball out away from the basket in the paint or anywhere from two steps away from five steps. But no, nowhere beyond that, okay? It's going to be short shots, no bank shots. You're going to see how many you can make in a row. Now once you miss, you go back to zero. Let's demonstrate what we mean. Uh, Ron, come on out. He's going to toss the ball out, pivot, and shoot. Toss the ball out, pivot, and shoot. When he makes it, it's a score. When he misses, he goes back to zero. He sees how many he can hit in a row consecutively within five or 10 minutes. Remember your score, because that is your personal best record. No bank shots. Let's go to work. There are two essential inner components of your shot and it's about time you know them. They are the keys to your shooting success and mastering them is a must. They are, number one, sighting your target. Specifically, which part of the basket do you focus your eyes on while shooting? Is it the front of the rim or is it the back of the rim? Is it the slither of space within the rim or is it perhaps the loops holding up the net in direct line with your shot? Whichever one it is, it's not important at this point as having a clear visual contact with your specific target. The second component to your shot is the feel. What is that feeling you experience while shooting? I don't mean the feel of the ball in your hands. I'm talking about that confident expectation that the good shooter has before releasing the shot. And if I had to define it in image form, what that feel is, it's a mental picture of the ball cleanly dropping into the basket and splashing the net. That feeling is essential to the success of your shot. You should also know that the feeling acts as a homing device that in a real sense guides the line, trajectory, and finish of your shot. Consistently getting that right feeling while shooting is as vital to your shot's success as the sighting of the target. Together and in that order, sight, feel, you've got the right ingredients, but they must be in order spotting the target number one, achieving the feeling number two. You'd be surprised how many shooters, poor shooters, look and shoot at the same time, pressuring and rushing their shot. Successful shooting is no different than opening a combination lock. Not only are the correct numbers necessary to open the lock, unless they are in correct order, the lock won't open. So. The sight feel components must be in a smooth sequence. Sight feel. The purpose then of our ultimate shooting method will be to one, sharpen your focusing ability. Number two, 
teach you how to lock in that right feeling good shooters have before each and every shot. And once you master your sight and your feel essentials, your shot will achieve a groove that will astound you. Our shooting technique will accomplish one additional important dividend too. You'll eliminate all thinking, especially stinking thinking while shooting. The prime time shooter's mind achieves a mindset called clear. For the prime time shooter, there are no over concern, over trying, overthinking habits that all poor shooters experience. The good shooter's mind is clear, uncluttered, and free of all extraneous interference like hoping, wishing, and wondering whether the ball will go in or not. Trying to make the shot must be avoided. You must have a clear, uncluttered mind to score consistently and in the clutch. Our method will help you keep your mind clear while shooting. Question. I think you ought to know about this, and you should ask yourself this question. What do you have between your two ears? What is it? Is it uh, cellophane, cotton candy? Is it a muscle? What do you got going on in between those two ears? Let me say this to you. It controls the shot, the trajectory, and the finish of your shot. Let's get inside that head and find out what the two essential ingredients are to your shot. And we've broken them down to two things. What you look at, number one, what you sight, what you focus on, and two, what you feel when you're shooting the shot. It's called sight, feel. Sight representing what you target visually as you pivot and face the basket. And two, what you feel when you're stroking the shot. Let's call that feel. All right, let's go step one now. Ron, come on in. All right, Ron, you're going to toss the ball out. And as you pivot, all I want you to do is identify your target, whatever it is. Front of the rim, back of the rim, the loops that hold up the, uh, the net, or the cylinder itself, the space. All right, toss and turn and say sight. Let's everybody do it now in the gym. Sight. Believe me, it's very important to identify your target. In the pressure of a game, when you hear footsteps, or when someone is uh, defensing you, sometimes you lose your sight, your focus. Nothing can be accomplished without proper focus. What is your goal? See it. Clearly see your goal. I want you to do phase one, the first essential of sighting your target. What is your target? Front of the rim, back of the rim, the loops, the cylinder, the space itself, whatever it is, as you pivot and turn and do not shoot, I want you to say, command if you will, the word sight. So there are two components to your shot, inner components. One is what do you look at? Sight. Now it's very important as you pivot and turn that you command the word sight. The second one, the second component is what do you feel as you're stroking the shot? Again, if we had to put this into picture form, it would be an image of the ball dropping in to the basket. Let's all associate the word feel as the ball drops in. Come on in close. Put the ball in and let's associate the word feel. Say it, feel. Everybody say it. You got to link the word feel. with the ball dropping in. All right, uh, here's what I want you to do. Now, I want you to go out and do this drill a dozen times. Ron is going to uh, toss the ball out. He's going to pivot and shoot. As he says sight, he's locating, targeting his goal visually. As he says feel, he's stroking the shot. He is feeling the ball dropping in to his target. Either it's the front of the rim or the back of the rim, but it's dropping in. Feel. Let's all associate ourselves with what Ron's doing. Sight, feel. Sight, feel. Sight, feel. Sight, feel. All right, stop. So, you're going to go out and you're going to do this a dozen times. But here's how I'd like you to do it, without a ball. Put the ball down, Ron, and I want you to do this a dozen times. Toss, turn, and command sight, feel, as you shoot the ball. But as you command the word feel, what are you going to feel? The ball dropping into the basket. Go. Sight, feel. Everybody say it. Sight, feel. 
sight, feel, move around. Locate your target, feel the ball dropping in. As you're stroking, Okay, let's go to work. Twelve times without the ball, twelve times with the ball. What we're going to do is associate the two words with success out here on, on the floor. All right, let's get someone that's had success with the sight feel. Come on out. All right, I want you to toss, turn, and shoot. As we watch, let's associate the act with, our, with verbally commanding the two words. Let's go. Sight, feel. Sight, feel. Sight, feel. Feel. Everybody say it. Sight, feel. Sight, feel. Feel. Sight. Feel. Okay, stop. All right, now I want you to do something else. We know sight, feel. We've linked it with the best shooting. Now what I want you to do is play a three-act game. This is very important. Now we're going to get into the prime time shooter's mind. And we're going to use the physiology and the attitude of a primetime shooter. Now, this is what I mean. Before you shoot, as you toss the ball out, I want you to play a game called act as if. I want you to act as if you can't miss a shot. I want you to act as if you're unstoppable. I want you to act as if you're invincible. I want you to act as if you've never missed a shot. That's act one of your three-act play. Act two, while you're shooting, I want you to remember this philosophy. Never shoot a shot to make it. Shoot it because it's there. Let me say that again. It's the prime time shooter's code. Never shoot a shot to make it. Shoot it because it's there. That will relieve the pressure of the shot. Don't add importance to it more than it is. No one shot wins the game. Even if it's the final shot and you're down by one, if you have the attitude of it's life and death, it's not going to go in. You've got to have this attitude. Never shoot a shot to make it. Shoot it because it's there. Let's repeat that statement, that command. Never shoot a shot to make it. Shoot it because it's there. Let's all do it again together. Let's believe in this. Never shoot a shot to make it. Shoot it because it's there. You guys that fade on your shot, you're over trying. You're so concerned about your shot, you're over trying. And you'll be surprised how many wrong muscles get involved in your shot, like those back muscles pulling you away. You've got to have act two down pat. Never shoot a shot to make it. Shoot it because it's there. Act three of your three-act play to become a prime-time shooter. And it's this. Act as if you just made the shot. Always act if you just made the shot. Even if you missed it, act as if you made it. Now, how can you do that? Well, all I want you to do now as you go out and shoot is remember how you felt after you made the shot. And then substitute that feeling for that bad feeling, the bad feeling you have after you missed a shot. You got it? Three act play. Act one. You're going to throw the ball out and toss and turn as if you've never missed. You're going to say sight. As you're stroking, you're going to shoot because it's there, not to make it. If you've got that feeling, the feeling will guide the ball. Three. After you miss or make, you're going to act as if you made it. If you miss, you're going to substitute that good feeling you had after you made it. All right, let's go to work. During game competition, the sight feel verbal commands are not vocalized out loud or to yourself. Shakespeare said it right, the play is the thing. In competition, just play and just shoot. You'll find your mind will be surprisingly uncluttered, focused, and clear. By developing the habit of keeping your mind busy by saying sight feel as you shoot in practice drills or shoot by yourself while going for your daily personal best games, you are conditioning your mind from thinking self-criticism, doubting, and trying. Remember, trying to make the shot creates its own feeling of pressure, which directly interferes with the confident feeling you'll be developing. Trying also promotes a jerky, tense shooting release. 
Each time you sight feel, you are sharpening your focus and improving your feel essential and advancing your shooting accuracy. But in the games, no sight feel is necessary. With a little time, you'll find your mind will be freer and clearer in competition and your shot grooved. Probably 95% of you improved your score. Now, what about the other 5%? Let's find out what you aim for. Now, earlier I asked you, what do you aim for? Front of the rim, back of the rim, the space. Let me give you another target. Come on out. Here's a player that did not improve, and his goal is the space. Let's just try something else. Let's give him a more specific target. John, I want you to look at this. Take a look at this. It's the loop that holds up the net. It's in the shape of a W. And some, on some breakaways, it's a loop. But I want this to be your target. Say sight to this. Say it again. Sight. Say it again. Sight. All right. Toss, turn, and shoot, and look at your target, and make sure it's the loops. Sight. Again. All right, stop. Now, there'll be times when you're on a court when you'll be between two loops. So you identify the two loops, the two Ws, and then the steel in between. But you must identify a specific target. This is our master tip for sighting, the loops that hold up the net. All right, go ahead. Say feel as you're shooting. Act as if you just made it. Say feel as you're stroking your shot. Feel. Say it again. Feel the ball go above and over and dropping in your target. Your target? is a loop. Your feel is the ball dropping over the loop. It's specific, it's clear, it's precise, and you've got a clear-cut target. Act as if you just made it. If you should miss, you act as if you just made it. As you toss the ball out, you're unbeatable. All right, stop. When you said sight, did you see your target? Did you see your target? What was your target? The loops. And when you said feel, as you were stroking your shot, you were feeling the ball going in. Is that the right sequence? OK. You see, shooting men and ladies is like opening up a lock, and you cannot open the lock without the right combination. But the combination must be in the correct order sight feel. You'd be surprised how many of you shoot in the crowd or shoot in the paint on the open court and you're rushed in your shot and what happens is you shoot and feel at the same time. In other words, you shoot and sight at the same time. It's got to be in that proper sequence. Okay, thanks, John. You can also do personal bests off of dribbles. The game of basketball isn't just a stand-up shot. It's also off the dribble. So go for personal best every day off of two dribbles. Create and establish your best and go for it every day. Remember to say sight feel as you take, you pick the ball up off your dribble. Sight feel. Toss it out as you turn, say sight. Now, after you dribble, sight feel. Sight feel. If you miss, you act as if you just made it.
sight, feel. Okay, stop. So go for your personal best off of two dribbles. Create your best score, know what you're going for, and go for it daily. Do you know that each time you take a shot, a mental image of that experience is stored into the memory bank of your brain? So is the feeling ahead when you triggered the shot. These stored mental experiences and feelings are the vital feedback instructions that control your shooting habits and tendencies. Your brain is a biological computer. You might as well believe it. Brain scientists do. And as soon as you do, we can give you a surefire method that can help you reprogram your mind to achieve a real shooting groove. Cybernetics is a science that not only created the electronic computer, Cybernetics provided answers to what brain scientists now know about the great mysteries of how the brain controls behavior and performance. Let's look at some of these cybernetic comparisons of the brain and the computer. Understanding and believing them can tremendously help your shot. Number one, there's a cybernetic performance mechanism inside your head that controls the trajectory and finish of your shot. It's your subconscious and it's an automatic, reliable, robot-like mechanism that activates your body to get you to do all kinds of things like walking, talking, chewing gum, and shooting a basketball. It's your habit maker. Number two, your subconscious is impersonal. Since it operates on feedback, those stored images and feelings of your past shooting experiences, it doesn't care what you ask of it. It just does it. Give it any kind of feedback, positive or negative, and it will produce for you equal appropriate behavior. Now here's the blockbuster that will change your shooting destiny. Number three, the subconscious cannot tell the difference between a real experience or a vividly imagined one. This means that if you will mentally picture a shot cleanly dropping into the basket enough times and attach a feeling to the image of the ball dropping in, as far as that impersonal, reliable subconscious is concerned, you've experienced a hit. Think of it. This offers you a fantastic opportunity to score hundreds, even thousands of successful shots each day in the movies of your mind and record them there for future performance. And this can be done anywhere. You have some time to relax and visualize. Your subconscious does not know the difference between what is real and vividly imagined. If you go to bed at night and close your eyes and imagine a ball going into the basket enough times, those experiences are recorded into the memory bank of your subconscious. Now what I want you to do is this. Every day, away from the court, either if you're sitting in a chair or before retiring at night, I want you to say 100 times, sight, feel. In that timeline, in that sequence, in that rhythm, sight, feel. Sight, targeting your, your goal, whatever it is, if it's the loops, front of the rim or the back of the rim, feel the ball dropping in. If it's the loops, you feel the ball dropping in over the loop. I want you to say it a hundred times. Sight, feel. Each time you say it, your subconscious is getting information, feedback, that tells you how to direct your shot. Those pictures, those images, those Visualization experiences are as real as the ball dropping in on the court. You can even create a game situation and say sight, feel. You can be on the open court. You can be in the crowd. You can be in the paint. You say sight, feel, and you're experiencing the real thing as far as your R2-D2 subconscious gyroscope mechanism is concerned. So what's my assignment to you fellas and gals that are committed? 100 times say sight, feel, sight, feel, sight, feel. You can even say it while you're walking the halls in school or riding on the bus, not while you're driving a car. You have to say sight, feel, and each time you do it, that's an experience. You are commanding your control center with the right kind of instructions. Does this work? Absolutely. If you'll go for your personal best every day with the programming that we are encouraging you to do, you're going to find out that you're going to get the results. We're going to introduce to you our technique in shooting free throws. Now, is it true that you have a, a 
success mechanism that can guide the ball accurately every time? Well, obviously the goal is bigger than the, than the ball that you use. You can take two of these basketballs and put it through the rim at the same time. Look how big this rim is. Take a look at how large this rim is. You two guys step up. I can take this rim, put your arms up, and I can back to back, back to back, and I can take this rim and put it right over these two guys. See how large the rim is in relationship? Step through, man. To the basket. Well, and how do we get, thank you, your subconscious to direct that ball? Well, it's a cybernetic device. What's a cybernetic device? It's your electric alarm clock. It's your electronic computer of a brain. It's the same thing. Now, a lot of you people use the alarm clock to get up in the morning. You set it and you forget it. You don't think every two hours that I've got to see if it's working. You wouldn't get a good night's sleep. You've got to set your success mechanism for shooting as well. You're going to learn how to activate it and trust it. The two ingredients that you need is to set it and trust it. And we're going to show you our method for doing this. This is the ball dropping in. This is the feel that you should have. Remember our ultimate shooting method. It's sight, sighting your target. Let it be the front of the rim. It's the feel of the ball dropping in. This is the feeling I want you to have as you say feel. Say it. Feel. Say it again. Feel. It's the ball dropping in. May I have the ball? As I shoot it and the ball goes straight, I want you to feel the ball going in. And say feel. Say it as I shoot it. Feel. So this is our technique. I want you to set your success mechanism before you shoot by saying twice, sight, feel. Sight, feel. When you say sight, you're targeting the front of the rim or the loop or the back of the rim, whatever you're aiming for. When you say feel, you're actually feeling the ball. You're seeing the trajectory of the shot and feeling the ball drop in to your goal. Say it twice. Sight, feel. Sight, feel. All right, now we've got to clear your mental machinery. The way you do that is bounce a ball. As you're bouncing it, I want you to say bounce each time you bounce it. Why? Because as you say bouncing, you're not doing any thinking. And thinking interferes with the doing especially in free throw shooting. So bounce the ball twice and say bounce, bounce. Pick the ball up before you can think. Say sight, feel as you shoot. Sight, feel. Sight, feel. Sight, feel. All right, go back a step to the foul line. No, 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 a step. Try to get a rhythm in what you're doing and don't rush through it. I go back to the foul line and keep shooting. Now remember, if you should miss a shot, act as if you just made it. As you approach the foul line, act as if you have never missed a shot, nor can you miss a shot. As you're shooting a free throw, you know the shoot is code. Never shoot a shot to make it. Shoot it because it's there. Don't try to make it. Try is a three-letter word for failure. Get into our shooting rhythm. Your sight feel verbal sequence during free throw shooting can be in the form of quiet self-talk or in a low voice if you feel it's necessary to achieve a clear mind. Yes, you may personalize your pre-shot free throw routine. Use one, two, or three dribbles if you like. Just be certain to think or say the word bounce on each dribble. Remember to let it happen, not make it happen at the line. A relaxed, smooth stroke and follow through is vital to a straight, soft trajectory. While at the line, stay free of expressing frustration and experiencing tension. Do this by acting confidently as you toe the line while shooting or even after a miss on the first shot of two. Absolutely no tense, frustrated facial expressions, body language, or self-talk. 
Words like, oh no, or not again, or even worse, your favorite four-letter put-down word must not be expressed. If you do any of the stinking thinking or a stinking feeling, your subconscious is getting negative feedback. Move to the line with unstoppable sureness. Express only calm, facial, and cool body confidence. Use positive self-talk like, yes, yes, or nothing but net, or repeat sight feel several times slowly to yourself to clear your mind as you approach the line. And if you can, just act as if you can. The power will come. This is a drill for free throw shooting that we use at our camp and I used when I was coaching. It's called 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Each player will make two shots from here and then they will make two shots from there and then they will make two shots from the free throw line. The reason we have a player lying underneath the basket is to give that player a new perspective of how small the ball is in relation to the rim. If you could see the ball dropping through the net from his point of view, you would see that the ball is awfully small. The players use a side field, side field, bounce, bounce, side field. They act as if they can never miss the shot as they approach their shot and make it or miss it. They have the same feeling of success at the end of the shot. When a player makes two in a row, he will then switch places. He'll become a retriever. The person under the basket becomes the shooter. Two in a row. All right, move now. You shoot over there now. Go take a step back. One step to the foul line. The point is, as you're saying, sight, feel, bounce, bounce, sight, feel, you have no time to think about the importance of the shot, wondering where the ball is going to go, if it's going to go straight, and wishing. Wishing, wondering, and hoping are not three skills of the primetime shooter. Primetime shooter does not think at all. Now we're going to show you how to get a high, true, soft bank shot. You're going to program it as well as drill it. What we're going to have is one of our players take one minute of bank shots. Everybody in the gym is going to take one minute of bank shots. I want the feeder to keep score for you. Every time you make a basket, it's a point. You got 60 seconds. It's not how many you make in a row. It's how many you can make within 60 seconds. You'll take three bank shots, right side, Middle, left side. The person that's retrieving is your scorer. I right, go. Each made shot is a point. You can get a little distance there on your shot. You'll get 60 seconds to shoot as many and make as many as you can. Remember, it's not consecutive. If you miss a shot, it doesn't count. Don't get too far away from the basket. Okay, let's go for one minute of shots. Now we're going to use our technique of modeling once again. We're going to watch the best perform. He's going to bank the shot in. As he banks the shot in, you've got to do three things. You've got to watch him. Two, you've got to jump inside of his body and shoot the bank shot. Three, you've got to feel the shot go in. I want you to connect. Instead of sight feel now, I want you to connect high soft on, after the release of a shot. High soft. We're going to link high soft to the shot going in. Now, if he should miss the shot, I want you to understand that he is playing the game act as if. He's act as if he just made it, and you've got to do the same thing after you miss a shot. So you're going to have a programming opportunity tonight to repeat sight feel maybe 50 times. 
sight, feel, sight, feel. You're also going to have to be able to say hi, soft, another 50 times. What is your goal? Your goal is to repeat hi, soft as many times as you can as you do the sight, feel. All right, let's see the best perform now. Let's watch him shoot. Let's see where the ball angles in off the backboard, dropping in cleanly. Now let's start linking the words high, soft, that the ball is being shot. Ready? High, soft. Let's say it. High, soft. Everybody say it. Now by simply repeating the high and soft commands at least 50 times a day at home, you are programming your biological computer with 50 successful bank shots. Since repetition is the mother of skill, the more often you both practice and program, the quicker your prime time shooting stroke and confidence will develop. After modeling the best, linking the high and soft verbal commands to the bank shot, players are retested for 60 seconds to measure their shooting progress. What you're seeing right now is a gooseneck off. What is a gooseneck off? It's the follow through. It's developing the stroke. It's developing the physical form that you need in your shot. Now let's break down the shot into the hand grip. Let's break it down into what the arm should do and what the feet should do. And let's put it all together. Let's make it simple and make it very quick. Number one, on your shot, take your shooting hand or the thumb of your shooting hand and place it right on here against the shelf of your off hand. Two, create a one with your forearm. Remember, your mind thinks in terms of pictures, not words. Thumb, create this feeling of a thumb touching the palm. Create the one with your forearm, and on the release, create the follow through, the gooseneck. Okay, let's start off now. Let's see our, take up your hand and show us your shooting form on how you should grip the ball. Two, let's keep the forearm straight. Let's keep into a shape of a one. Ready, go. Face one another, and remember, success leads clues, so you can match up some of your better shooters or your better forms with the not so good forms. And that way, the person that's improving can work off of, visually, off of the best form, without a word being spoken. All right, let's gooseneck off together, facing one another, go. Put your thumb on the palm of your uh, off hand. And let's get the one and the gooseneck. One gooseneck. One gooseneck. One gooseneck. Now that we've worked on the hand grip, the thumb facing the palm of your off hand, the one of the forearm, remember we think in terms of pictures, not words. So when you're coaching, if you say thumb to the palm, Form of number one with your forearm and a gooseneck, you've got the right form. But what about the legs? What I like is stubbing the toe, the player stubbing his toe as he or she pivots. As you turn, you stub your toe. You bring your shooting foot forward just slightly, but you stub it like this. Stub the toe. Now what we're going to do is back to back and we're going to do goosenecks. Remember the palm? Uh, open of your shooting hand, uh, the thumb of your shooting hand, even with your palm, and I want you to pivot, and I want you to gooseneck, and I want you to stub your toe as you're pivoting. Ready? Go. Keep the gooseneck out after the release. Emphasize the lifting of the legs on your shot. Okay, so that is our form. Once again, hand grip, arm grip, shape of a one, the gooseneck as you lift off your legs, and of course, stubbing your toe as you're pivoting. Now after each hit, once the ball swishes the net, Say to yourself or out loud the word yes. The command word yes is linked to the confident feeling of success. At the start, say yes only after hits. 
Once the Yes Anchor is firmly established, at least a total of 25 hits, begin to use Yes after Mrs. Two in order to retain that positive feeling to which Yes is associated. This positive anchoring habit of saying Yes after a basket will help collapse the frustrated feeling you normally get after a miss. The more often you use the sight feel Yes verbal sequence on both field goals and free throws, the quicker you'll lock into an incredible shooting groove. Sight, feel, yes. Sight, feel, yes. Sight, feel, bounce, bounce. Sight, feel, yes. Sight, feel, bounce, bounce. Sight, feel, yes. Sight, feel, Yes. What does Larry Bird, Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson, and all primetime shooters have in common? They never shoot a shot to make it. They shoot it because it's there. That's their shooting philosophy, and it's the attitude of all good shooters. It must become yours. Repeat this code often to yourself. Never shoot a shot to make it shoot it because it's there. Believe it, accept it, live it. Shooting is an art form, and like all art forms, you must let it happen, not make it happen, and trust is a must. Why? Because your stroke and release have to be fully extended, untense, and achieve a relaxed wrist flexion. Let me remind you once again, never shoot a shot to make it is a key attitude once developed promotes a relaxed, less uptight, confident frame of mind and confident stroke. Letting it happen frees up the subconscious to work more efficiently off of those stored good feelings that you are programming on each sight feel. Memorize these three magical words often. Let it happen. Let it happen. They are your stepping stones for shooting success. And remember that each time you sight feel while shooting for your personal best, you are attaining clear that all essential mindset that eliminates thinking, self-doubt, self-criticism, remembering your last missed shot, all kinds of stuff, the score, and even trying. Trying to make the shot the worst of all mental interference. Drill these attitudes into your reliable, powerful, biological computer, and I promise you others will see the change, but you, you'll feel the change. Give our method three weeks of on-the-court personal best and off-the-court mental programming. It's not a long period of time considering it took you a lifetime to develop your inconsistent shot. Coaches, you can add the sight field method to any of your favorite shooting drills, inside, outside, open court, or free throw drills. Repetition will become the mother of their prime time shot. So this is our ultimate shooting method. Can it free you up to become a prime time shooter? It has for others, it can for you. Let me ask you, are you willing to commit to our method and spend the time on a daily basis programming your biological computer with the verbal commands of sight, feel? Yes, a hundred times a day, a thousand times a week perhaps. Know this, that feedback is the breakfast of champions. Commit to breaking your own personal best scoring record every day and discover the champion inside of you. Just remember, a good shooter was once a poor shooter who practiced. Now you've got our double-edged sword, combining the mental practice with the physical. Trust our ultimate shooting method, and you'll trust your shot, and in prime time, too. Now go to work. The best is yet to be. information concerning the nearest overnight Yes I Can basketball camp or information on hosting a Yes I Can shooting camp or clinic in your own gym, write Stan Kellner, Box 134, East Talk, New York, 11733.
or call 516-751-3513. Thank you.